Church. 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 Okay, a few minutes ago you mentioned a uh, very popular opinion for uh, getting rid of Muslims. So I'm wondering, you know, deporting them, and just uh, resistance to their presence. What do you see as the long-term possibility of international alliances of people who are just fed up with Muslim infiltration and domination yeah. and want to push them out and back into something like where they came from? Do you see any possibility of that succeeding sometime in the future? Well, I see it. It could happen. Mm -hmm. uh, the first steps are happening now. I mean, uh, Björn, Lars, myself, we are traveling around uh, not only talk to people like yourself, but also to politicians, to organizations, and to uh, to get more strength and mm -hmm. to make um, and to make allies. Mm -hmm. We have in June we have uh, the next elections of the European Parliament. Uh, I'm very much against uh, the European Union as it is today. It's almost as mm -hmm. worse as the United Nations, but okay, it's there. So we will uh, we will try um, uh, to be part of it. Uh, and it would be a good thing if it would be possible that uh, democratical normal parties who are very much against the Islamization uh, would join forces, mm -hmm. would join forces and make sure that not only in the European Parliament but that in each European um, Parliament the governments are being hassled for their policy. This would be an enormous step but it should be done on a political way, it should be done in an intellectual way, it should uh, be done in any possible way on the grassroots level, it should be done in every way and we should be, um, um, uh, well, we should have more sense of urgency there as well. So a lot of things is, are possible, but um, we need people to do it. <laughs> this is what we need. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ma